In today's video, I'm making the pulley system for the belt drive, the supercharger, bug catcher, and exhaust manifolds. I don't have plans for any of this, these parts, I'm just making them by feel, and I recommend you do the same. I clamped these plates down to the engine block temporarily and adjusted their position until I was happy with the movement. I'm now marking the engine block so that I know where to cut these plates. I cut the pieces out without touching the line, going a little bit extra, so that I can now sand them fl flush with the engine block, and I also screwed them in with one screw on each side. So I sanded off the edges, and now I have to cut these plates to length, and I'll try to do this to mark them both at the same point. So here's the sketch of the exhaust manifold I want to try to make. It's a Chevy LS1 redesign. Um, I do not recommend you make this. Uh, there are many simpler options you can try, or just skip the exhaust manifold in general. But I want to try this out. I think this is going to be a fun challenge. I'll make each pipe by cutting them out with a bandsaw. And here I'm marking the side and the top profiles. I'm also using the drill press to make the corners. I have finished cutting them all out. This is how they should go together. And now I'm gonna use the file and sandpaper to round them off. I'll need to turn this piece on the lathe and then afterwards drill a hole directly through the center of it. And to do that accurately, I'll be making a pilot hole right now. So this piece took a total of two and a half hours to complete, and now I have to make another one. I just made these two simple head pieces, and since I want them to be removable, I'm gonna drill through them and into the engine block so that I can attach them with nails. Since this drill bit is too small for my drill press, I wrapped some masking tape around it to hold it in place. I also temporarily glued this piece to the engine block so, so that I can drill through it and through the engine block. If you've ever seen real superchargers before, uh, you'll notice that they tend to be oval shaped and have bands around them. So that's what I'm going to try to replicate. I made this for the body of the supercharger and I made a slightly bigger piece to make the bands with. And now I'll divide them with a chop saw. I have set up a stop block 10 millimeters away from the blade and I'm also not cutting all the way through because I'm afraid of this thing catching on the blade and flying off. I will finish this cut by hand. I really like the way this turned out. Uh, now I just need to glue it together. To make the supercharger belt drive system, you'll need three pulleys, two nail tie pieces, and a cone to go from the supercharger. So that's what I'm doing now. I didn't want to use nails. I thought that would kind of ruin the look I'm going for. So I made these wooden ones. And I made these nails slightly thicker at the bottom here, so that they can be held in with friction, but a bit more loose at the top so that the pulleys can rotate freely on them. I'm rubbing dry soap on here for lubrication. I will not be able to do this later, and as I said before, this is very important.
At first I wanted to have these pens be held in with friction, but now I'm deciding to just glue them in. I'm only not going to glue this one into place because uh, removal of this pulley is essential for the assembly of the engine. You may have also noticed that I glued on uh, another piece for the crankshaft. I miscalculated a little bit and didn't leave enough room for this pulley. To make the belt, I'm using this piece of rubber I cut from an inner tube of a bicycle. And to glue it together, I'm using a special glue for inner tubes. So I kind of saw this coming, but I I was just hoping this wouldn't happen, but it did. Um, you can see that when I turn the crank, the belt climbs on top of the pulleys. And this is super annoying, but I don't think there's anything I can do about it. And when it, when it reaches this point, it stops pulling. Let me, let me show you. I think I'm just gonna leave it this way. I I don't know. If maybe you guys have some ideas. Okay, and I know it's been just a second for you, but it's been like half an hour for me. Um, this is very exciting. I've noticed that if I put some paper in here and decrease the angle of this pulley, uh, I can actually stabilize the whole system. And again. Now I'm just going to put a lot of glue into that gap and then later remove a piece of paper and hopefully it works fine then. So that's it for this project. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And before you ask, no, I'm not putting this into a car. Uh, that just sounds like a headache. Um, but now that I think about it, I think this would look really cool in a hot rod. So I guess only time can tell. And before I end the video, here's one more clip. 